right, here we go on the eve of my annual winter forecast, which comes your way same time, same place on Thursday. This is Wednesday evening's weather for weather geeks. And yeah, just another ho-hum day today with a lot of clouds and temperatures hardly moving. Occasionally a couple of snow grains and a couple of uh, rain, <laughs> pardon me, raindrops came out of these clouds today. Um, but for the most part, it was just kind of kind of a blah November day. Temperatures only rose about two degrees at the airport from start to finish today. And the radar as of this recording shows a few snowflakes here and there. This will be about it for the overnight. A couple of snowflakes, no big deal, no impacts locally. Off to the north though, yeah, the lake effect machine is really starting to fire up over Lake Erie and then depositing all this moisture right now, mostly in western New York state, but there are lake effect snow warnings as nearby as Ashtabula County off to our north, Erie County, PA, Chautauqua, Chautauqua, I should say, in Cattaraugus counties, along with Erie County in uh, western New York. That includes the Buffalo area, which will kind of be ground zero, if you will, for the snowfall over the next several days. Uh, we're talking about feet of snow coming to parts of western New York between now and the weekend. In the meantime, back here at home, a few flurries for the bulk of the evening and the overnight, but if you're an early morning commuter, let's pay attention to how things will go as we uh, head into Thursday morning. By 3 in the morning, all the activity is still pretty much up towards I-90, but as we head closer to daybreak on our Thursday, with the flow becoming a little more northwesterly, that's going to shove some of the bands off to the south. And uh, some of these more moderate snow bands are going to try to impact Mesopotamia, Gustavus, Johnston, Kinsman, Greenville, Sandy Lake, maybe as far south as Fredonia and Mercer. Can't even rule out a heftier snow band getting to Grove City. Uh, and uh, even a place like Vienna and uh, Hubbard heading over towards Sharon. Before the morning is through, might you get a decent 15 or 20 minute snow band? That's going to be a possibility. Uh, the farther south you are, the lower the chances are of anything impactful. So as far as accumulations go, of course, the heftiest amounts uh, from now through the daylight hours on Thursday will be off to our north, closer to Andover, closer to Ashtabula, up towards uh, the Meadville area in Crawford County, and certainly once you get up towards Erie and into southwestern New York around Jamestown. But in our TV viewing area, again, accumulations a little less important than the impacts. Accumulations are going to be minor. Uh, a coating in a lot of the gray area, maybe a little dusting here and there, uh, to up to an inch or so, best chance of that. Uh, an inch, maybe even close to two in some spots, uh, up towards Route 87, far northern Trumbull, and across the far northern reaches of Mercer as well. But even if you just get a little half an inch, coming at rush hour, and at that time of the day, and with temperatures a little below freezing, the snow can stick. Uh, you may run into some slick surfaces and maybe some slowdowns, uh, across uh, the I-80 corridor and points northward as Thursday gets underway. So it's going to be one of those things where you don't need four, five, six inches of snow to cause some issues. Just use a little caution if you're out and about early tomorrow, especially in our northern viewing area. This little trough of low pressure, this dash black line pivots through. That'll disrupt the lake effect machine by Thursday afternoon. So even in northwest PA and southwest New York, I think we're going to get a lull in the action for a time Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening before the southwesterly flow returns and more organized lake effect gets going by Friday and it aimed once again western New York extreme northwest PA and some of the far eastern suburbs of Cleveland for us I'm not looking for snow impacts really aside from flurries on Friday it's gonna be blustery and cold though and it's gonna be blustery and cold again as we head into Friday night and the start of the weekend while the snow bonanza will continue in Buffalo through the daylight hours on Saturday. Now, this is one run of one model, but it gives you a sense as to what is possible through the daylight hours on Saturday. This is the very top of our snow legend. Some of these hotter pinks in uh, the Buffalo area, including Orchard Park, which is where the Buffalo Bills play their uh, home games. And <laughs> you probably know the Browns have a game on Sunday in Orchard Park, New York, just south of Buffalo. Now, they're going to see probably at least three feet, perhaps four feet or so worth of snow in parts of the Buffalo metro area between tonight and Saturday night. But by Sunday, by game time, we're not expecting a lot of snow on Sunday. In fact, it may not do much more than flurry on Sunday. They'll get a chance to shovel out the stands, shovel off the field. We're not going to see much in the way of accumulation during the day Sunday in the Buffalo area. So if you're a football fan, if you're a Browns fan, the forecast is important. Anyone trying to travel to Buffalo before the game, 
um, especially if you're going on Saturday. Boy, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough. Sunday, once we get the daylight, once we get to the daylight hours, conditions should start to quote unquote improve. Back here at home, though, the, the wind chills. They were mostly in the 20s today. They'll be mostly in the teens by Friday and Saturday. Nice turnaround coming though. As we head towards next week, we'll start out in the upper teens to around 20 Monday morning. But by Monday afternoon, we're knocking on the door of 40. All of a sudden, that sounds pretty nice. 47 on Tuesday and 51 for that big travel day on Wednesday. If you have family coming into town for Thanksgiving, if you're heading out of town for Thanksgiving on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, typically the roads and the airports are, are real busy on this day. And right now, it, uh, it does look dry. In fact, very nice weather in the few days before Thanksgiving. Rain might try to return by Thanksgiving at some point. Maybe it waits till Thursday night into Friday. Maybe some snowflakes get involved for Black Friday. I think there will be a system that comes through at the end of next week, but it looks like at this point, the run-up to Thanksgiving will certainly cooperate for holiday travelers. Just a reminder, of course, tomorrow evening, we're doing the winter forecast. 21 News at 5, 6, and 11. That'll be the short to the point version, the longer weather geeks version, if you will. will be posted around 7.30 or so, and we'll also post a blog version of the winter forecast, a written version, if you will, on ericwfmj.com Thursday evening. A lot of work went into this forecast this year. I hope you will get some value out of it. I hope you will enjoy it and maybe learn a few things along the way. Hopefully I'll learn a few things uh, based on what happens this winter season. So we'll, we'll talk all about it coming up on Thursday. In the meantime, thanks for watching tonight and have a great rest of your Wednesday night.